these YouTube streets minding my business. No, I wasn't. <laughs> the cut. No, I know. <laughs> but listen, I ran into the decade old question Is coach considered luxury? And I don't know about you, but I'm tired of this question. I am tired. My soul is tired of this question. Let's put it to rest. I got the answer. Let's put it to rest. My name is Rakita. For those who are new here, where luxury has no limits, and let's be friends. In order to be friends, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button and we're friends. Now, good news. Good news. I am one of them friends where you don't have to agree with me, okay? Unless you, you know, you you favor uh uh Freddy Krueger, we good. You don't have to always agree with me, and that's gonna be that's going to be important in this discussion. Just keep keep that in your back pocket, okay? That's going to be important later. Let's talk about it. Now, I was on YouTube, right? And I noticed that the uh, century-old debate was trending. That that could have been that could have been a little bit of exaggeration. Century, I don't even I don't know that the the long age question. Okay, I know it's been the, the debate for a while, for as long as I was old enough to care. Is Coach considered a luxury brand? Okay, your girl got the answer. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. Your girl got the answer. Your girl got the answer. Now, before I give you the the ironclad, real, I can't say Webster. That'd be, that's not right. Before I give you the real answer, the take it to the bank, write a check, cash it answer, I'm going to give you Rakita's answer. Okay? It's two different things. It's two different things. You like girl wise into it. It's two different things. It's Rakita's answer, and then it's the real answer. Okay. Rakita's answer is: Do Rakita think Coach is a luxury brand? I don't know what's up with my fingers, but I like it. Okay. Do Rakita think Coach is a luxury brand? No. No, Rakita do not think Coach is a luxury brand. This is why, right? Nothing against Coach, because obviously. I got some, okay? Um, because I don't think Coach is a luxury brand. I think Coach is a beautiful, great quality. Okay, hold on. Let me take that. Let me take that. From the Coach bags that I have, because I don't shop consistently at Coach to vouch for all their bags, but from the ones that I have, great quality, okay? Um, bags. Um, don't and I'm not saying that they don't I'm saying from the ones that I have I don't shop consistently there enough to know if all their bags are great quality okay um love them but I'm not invested enough in coach to consider them luxury I don't care enough about their heritage to consider them luxury I'm not emotionally invested enough to care, okay? Therefore, I don't consider them luxury. Now, some people say the same with uh, the Marc Jacobs totes. Listen, Marc Jacobs was probably born when I was born. It ain't no way I consider them do quality. Y'all know I say Marc Jacobs, the tote bags, the quality, mouth-watering. But child... If you was born almost when I was born and you ain't got no heritage, if I can't call your bags vintage, you, you no, 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 you popping, but no, no, sir, you was, you was not luxury, you nice, you popping, okay, no. So, I consider Coach and Marc Jacobs very nice contemporary brands. Now, that's just me. 
That's just Rakita. Okay? Now, the real answer is if you or anybody else consider Coach to be a luxury brand, then boom, that's what it is. Then that's what it is. Luxury has no limits. And is that my tagline? Yes, it is. <laughs> but it's also the truth. Okay? Luxury is subjective. Luxury is what a person considers luxury. Okay? And what irks my nerves, it really do grinds my ears. Okay? Is when a person think that they have the superiority, the expertise, or the goal, quite frankly, to tell somebody else what they should or should not consider luxury. And the price tag, the heritage, the story, the quality does not all consist of what makes something luxury. It's a person's concept of it, it's the person's connection to it, it's the person's feelings of it, perception, all those things is what makes something luxury to that person. For example, jewelry. I promise you every time my husband walks into my closet and see my wedding ring, he probably want to fight. He probably want to move furniture every time he see my wedding ring. How much money he done spent on that thing and I never wear it. Like every time he, he probably want to be here with it. I'll never wear it. I don't never wear any. I am not a jewelry person. You can literally take me into a, um, what's that person? What's, he, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Cartier. That's the name. Cartier, Van Cleef. Um, what's that chick? Tiffany. You can take me to any one of them stores. I ain't buying it. Now, if you, if you say shop free shopping spree, I'll probably get some things. Go ahead, sell it, flip that money on them. But if, like, for me, I'm not excited. Because I'm not a jewelry person. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not. That's not luxury to me because I don't care nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can take me um, to a fancy restaurant. Well, hold on, hold on. Mm. Well, it depends on what they serve. <laughs> but like, uh, a steak house. I don't like steak. What, what am I doing there? I don't like steak. Well, they, that's not fancy to me. So it depends on what you consider luxury if it's luxurious. So for a person to double down and try to argue with another person to convince them what is or is not luxury to them, I think it's a little... I think it's... I don't, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, but it's slipping out my tongue. It's, it's, it's a little... It's a little Karen-ish. I'm, I'm sorry. I just feel like people... People need to... You should mind your business. Stop trying to tell other adults what to do and how to be and how to think. Listen, when I say that, this is what I mean. If a person ain't trying to tear money it up, if a person is not... As long as you're not... As long as it's not... I'm trying to, you know, because, you know, YouTube with their guidelines and everything. As long as it's not in the realm of being a decent human being, okay? As long as we're not arguing about you being Ted Bundy, okay? As long as we're not arguing about you legally and justifi justifiably not being able to go around schools or parks, okay? <laughs> Hell no. Then... You should be able, I shouldn't be able to tell you what to do or how to live or the decisions that you make because we are all different. What works for me does not work for you and I should be okay with that. 
I should be okay with that. That's the weird part. Like, why am I bothered that someone feels that coach is luxury? Why am I bothered that someone feels that they saw coach in Nordstrom's being so next to Gucci and think that that's a luxury brand. Okay, cool. Now, I'm glad. Like, now you got something that you think is luxurious. Congratulations. And I'm not saying it like, I mean, cool. Like, if you ask me, do I have a luxury coach bag? I'm going to say no. But if you say you have one, okay, cool. really weird to argue or debate I'm sorry argue or debate about whether somebody or someone feels like something is is luxury or not I do I'm sorry because even even Hermes <laughs> have you ever read or like read the comment thread or seen videos about people going back and forth about the top tier or the um what do they call it um the the throne or the most wanted luxury bag as a Hermes Birkin or Kelly says who says who like believe it or not everybody don't want a Hermes Birkin or Kelly believe it or not like there's people who don't want or like Hermes you know what I'm saying? Like, who calling me? I am busy. Hold on. Mm. Like, I I find it weird. Like, all jokes aside. Okay. Hold on. As I fix my head. All jokes aside, I find it really weird that people, some people, you know what, that's like, like, hold on to your pants. I'm not talking about everybody, okay? Or hold on to your draws. I'm not talking about everybody. I find it really weird that some people don't understand that everybody don't think or act alike. And what I find even weirder, is that right, weirder? <laughs> is that people try to get people to think like them or want people to think like them like other adults I, I really and you know listen I have never as an adult and I can't think of as a child but I have never as an adult had an opinion unless it was about like I said human decency okay because if you a serial, if you a serial, I'm probably going to try to get you not to be that no more. Okay. But besides human decency, you know what I'm saying? If you a bu bully, can you say bully? If you one of them, I'm, I'm, I'm going to want you not to be that no more. Okay. But besides stuff like that, I am never going to sit here and try to get you to change your mind on something. All right, if you don't like Versace, then don't like Versace. If you don't like bags from Germany, then don't buy a bag from Germany. I've seen people, or I kid you not, I'm probably on a rant right now, but listen. I've seen people go back and forth, okay? No lies told. I've seen people go back and forth about wanting Louis Vuitton bags made in the USA. Someone said they don't like their bags made in the USA. Another person responded, well that's stupid. The bags made in the USA is the same quality of the bags made in Spain. Now listen, I'm not saying whether that, that's true or not. Hell, I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying arguing with that person in my humble opinion, it's dumb as hell. <laughs> let me tell you why. Let me listen. Let me explain. 
because it's their money. If they don't want a bag made in the USA, guess what? They don't want a bag made in the USA. If they don't want a bag made in Spain, guess what? They don't want a bag made in Spain. Like, why are you trying to convince them that they should get a bag made in the USA? I don't understand. I just, I don't understand that. Like, unless you're paying for it, I don't understand how is that a discussion. I would not, spe especially if my money's not involved. Especially if my money's not involved. Now, if you ask me, if you ask me, Rakita, is there a difference between bags made in the USA versus bags made in France or bags made in Spain? I will give you my opinion. But if you be like, girl, you know, I don't like bags that's made in the USA. I'm like, oh, okay, cool, cool. And that's it. Why am I trying to, why am I trying to convince you otherwise? Girl, if you don't like it, you don't like it. Well, how is that hurting me or anybody else? Like, I'm tired. I was about to say I'm tired of people, but I don't know. I try to sip all drama juice, but I just find it really weird that people try to convince people to do what they think that they should do, especially other adults. I think that people need to worry about themselves. I do. I really do. I think that will cut down on the confusion. And and are we? So you like, girl? We talk. We still talking about handbags. We are. We are. But it could be applied to other stuff too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The bottom line is, let people believe what they want to believe. Luxury has no limits. If you feel that Coach is a luxury brand, then it is. If you feel that Coach is not a luxury brand, then it's not. What annoys me is the people who feel like they should change folks' mind. Like, who are you to say your perspective on Coach, on Versace, on Louis Vuitton, on Chanel? Is, is correct it's subjective and it boggles my mind that you think when I say you I'm, I'm speaking in general it boggles my mind that a person consider themselves an expert in luxury that is literally a subjective term is that a problem is that a problem guess who make it complicated people who think that people should think like they do. Did I say that right? Hold on, let me <laughs> let me repeat it in my head. Hold on. I think people's definition of luxury is based on people's history with luxury, people's financial standing with luxury, people's history with luxury, and people's feelings when it comes to luxury and I think if you don't recognize that it can come off a little bit insensitive right and what I find a little hypocritical is that the folks that I find that try to change someone's opinion about how they feel about luxury are the same people that stand, stand firm in their opinion about luxury. Meaning, they want you to be open-minded about their opinion about luxury, but yet they're not open-minded about their opinion about luxury. You know what I mean? They're closed-minded However, they expect you to consider what they're saying. I hope that makes sense. Instead of considering someone to take on your definition of luxury, just leave folks alone. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm sorry. I just think it's just literally that simple. Just leave folks alone.
alone. I know you like, girl, I don't know if I've ever told y'all this before, but I'm having a hard time because on one hand, it's a pet peeve of mine, so I want to talk about it. But then on the other hand, it's like, I don't want to be offensive or rude, but I want to talk about it. Like, a pet peeve of mine, I don't like when adults try to tell other adults what to do. Like, for for example, I, you know, you know the saying, like, don't, you know, be a leader, don't follow the herd, da 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 Like, what if you want to follow the herd? Like, like, what if, what if you want to be a sheep? Like, like, what if you don't want to be a leader? What's wrong with that? Like, what if you... I remember I was watching Who Harassing Me, okay? I remember, um, what season was that? I don't know. Um, I was watching Big Brother and Donnie? What's his name, Donnie? I don't know. Donnie, yeah. He was simple man, groundskeeper, very happy. You know, he wasn't trying to figure out no no uh, uh rocket science codes or nothing just very happy living his life as a simple man okay very happy didn't have a problem okay what's wrong with that okay but then on the flip side if you wanted to be an astronaut what was wrong with that like i am tired of other people deciding what's right and what's wrong for other people you know what I mean if you want to be an astronaut great if you want to be a garbage man great if you want to buy a Louis Vuitton great if you want to buy a coach great if you want to think coach is a luxury handbag and that thing is the most luxurious bag you have ever seen in your life. That is awesome. I think so too. If you think your coach bag should hold your toenails. Girl, I think so too. I think so too. Great. Like, there's no right or wrong answer. And people who try to force or tell you that there is, is annoying as hell to me. Was that too strong? Probably. <laughs> okay, good people. That is it. Now, listen. <sighs> sorry, not sorry. I don't... There, there's, there's... Okay. Okay, listen. I, in all seriousness, I don't... I... I <sighs> I don't really like I don't really like um getting into I don't even know if this is a controversial subject I don't know cuz I could be like, you like like girl you talking about a coach bag shut up probably but it's just I really get annoyed I do I get annoyed by by people trying to like tell people what to do or tell people how to feel or be like I just I get annoyed by that like like mind your business like <laughs> Like, unless I tell you it's Chucky, like, shut up. Okay, anyway. Oh, um, of course, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notifications so you don't miss a video from me. And then keep up with me. Follow me on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. My Facebook group. My Facebook If you want to cuss me out, you're going to have to join my Facebook group and cuss me out over there. Because that's, the that's the only place I'm getting cussed out. Join my Facebook group, okay? And then everywhere else, I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, at Rakita's Closet. And I will see you beautiful people in the next one. Okay, boo!